Hector. No, you're good. What do you have to say? Turtles. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Hello. 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 A best friend of mine, her little brother was coming in to get his first tattoo, and her mom had messaged me before the tattoo, asking me if I could mess with him a little bit. So what we did was we blindfolded him, and I said that I came up with a pretty cool design, and you know, I was just gonna stencil on him, and once we got it all done, take off the blindfold, show him the stencil, and you know, see his reaction. What's up, Devin? I see you're blindfolded. Blinded at the moment. <laughs> you really have no idea. <laughs> Somewhat of an idea, say. One twist, <laughs> I put a penis on his arm. <laughs> oh, that's sick. All right, you wanna take it off and look at it? That's it, that's oh, it. Oh, hell. Oh, <laughs> no fuck, bro. Let me see. That's, that's nice. Oh, hell. I'm watching your mom's at me. <laughs> it looks super good. <laughs> think oh, my God. Mom, we love him so much. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and I thought it was a really funny joke, you know. I've known him for his whole life. Uh, he's been amazing. He definitely has a great sense of humor, so I knew he wouldn't be butthurt about it, but he loved it so much. So it was funny seeing his reaction after we took the blindfold off, but don't worry, he did not get that tattooed on him. Instead of that, after we wiped off the stencil, he had uh, wanted a cross tattoo, but instead of the cross being the normal just two lines, he wanted them to be the nails that uh, were on Jesus during the whole crucifixion and everything. I thought that was a really cool twist on the tattoo. I've never seen anything like that before. So, you know, it was nice to give him something that he did want. <laughs> I gotta do some Renaissance hands that are touching, the iconic little pose. This time it wasn't on like a forearm, it was right on the neck, so that was a little difficult just because of the placement, but I executed it pretty well. My client really loved it. He definitely is booking again soon, which is awesome. Uh, definitely not gonna do another neck piece, but I can't wait to see what he comes up with. This week, I got to do a, an original design made by yours truly right here. It was a sheep cut in half, and the other half was a wolf chasing her. So I thought that was a really cool, neat design. The girl that came in and got it was really spontaneous. She has a lot of just random tattoos. She doesn't put too much thought into them. So I thought that was really cool, the fact that she just hit me up right away when I put the tattoo up for sale. And I got the tattoo original art, so I think that's always a great opportunity to do at the shop. Let's see, I think last week I had um, a few piercings. <laughs> As always, I did some septum piercings. I like doing those with titanium jewelry. Ends up no problem. So pretty. You gotta be so proud of yourself now. <laughs> There's that for you. Did a couple navel piercings, which are also known as belly piercings in the real human world. Nose piercings, also known as nostril piercings in my world. <laughs> So cute. Okay, it definitely wasn't as bad as I Did some ear piercings, pretty interesting. Those are really cool. Bring me all your piercings, I love them. And an eyebrow, that was really fun. What's up guys, it's Devin over at Sharky's Paradise on Instagram, uh, Slater Inks. Welcome to the video. All right, so kicking off this week, I did a whale on uh, these ribs. This girl came in and she was like, I'm, I'm, I'm 17, right? I want a neck tattoo and it's gonna be a butterfly. No. So what if we do something else instead? 
and I'll give it to you regardless. Uh, of course, her mother signed off on everything, but we were able to rework a different design, and it turns out she had this really nice, super simplistic little whale that she wanted on her ribs. It ended up being a better tattoo, I think, and it came out really beautiful, and I, I love it very much. It's awesome. I know. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Smile. <laughs> Yay. first tattoo right now of a whale Hang on my ribs pain tolerance out of 10 probably five whales are my favorite animals i'm scared of the ocean but i love whales I'm not sure how that works why did you pick sharky's paradise tattoo my ex-boyfriend actually got a tattoo here why did you pick sharky's paradise tattoo we're still friends. What are you doing, Ralph? I love it. Hey, how old are you? How old are you? High five. <laughs> Oof. I was a five year old superhero, Randy. There's a few other things that we did this week, but mainly this was the 4th of July coming up, so we got to go out and let loose. We went up to Wyoming. Our beautiful wife and her family have a legacy of fireworks, responsibly blowing shit up up there. And so we went up there and we followed in suit and we responsibly blew some up. That was fun. Yeah. All right, we're here on the 4th of July, doing things. What's oh, up? Yeah. Well, 3rd of July, we're doing things up here. You know, say what's up. Let's see what's going on out here. Yeah, baby! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, everybody. Firing them off, firing them off. Love Sam, it. Thanks for letting us come by. Heck yeah. We did like karaoke forever and ever, all night, a couple nights we were there. And then my mom, it seems like at the end of every 4th of July, she likes to grab, secretly grab the fireworks that weren't blown off. You know, like maybe the ones that weren't sold in the store and go throw them in the bonfire where other people are throwing things in the bonfire and then start a huge war. But that's my mom, I love her. Shout, Shout out, out mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one way to get rid of them. Oh, there they go, there they go. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, put your torch up, go! And I love being able to go spend time with the family and go do things like that. So shout out America for giving us another birthday to celebrate. Where do you want it on your arm, sir? I'm getting the flower one. Nice, that's cool. Where are you going to put that one, Allie? On my leg. Ooh, how's it feeling, Axel? Good. Tell us what you think, Axel. Uh, Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with the chapstick. Ooh, show him your cool tattoo. Dang, look at that. Look at that. You got some cobra. more down here too. No, that's a cobra oh, snake. That's a, that's a ship. You got a ship? Right there? Yes. Okay. What do you think, Allie? Get out! You know, one of the most exciting things that we have going on in the shop is just watching the growth of everybody, all the artists, you know. One of the cool things about being, you know, an instructor or a mentor is that we get to go walk around and we get to like see the growth of these other artists and especially at the beginning of your tattoo journey, you're faced with the ground a lot. So you think that you're going to do something amazing and then flat on your face and it's not that awesome and then you have to recover and that's part of like growing as an artist. I'm happy to say that I see positive results from every single person in the shop that we currently have there. I'm like really, really proud to see everybody grow. If it's a little bit of knowledge here and there, whatever it is, the experience, they've definitely picked something up from us. I've picked up a ton from you. I've been in everybody's position where they're at, where I have someone hovering over me telling me to like clean up a line or do it this way. I've been put in tears. <laughs> The thing is, is like you can't grow unless you're trying new things. So I'm always willing to try new things. Even to this day, like I think we together still try to
to learn even more everywhere we go by anybody. It's a very unique industry and I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm honored to watch everybody grow within our shop. It's just been awesome. So shout out to all you guys who are working your butts off to help us keep the doors open. You guys are the real heroes, you know. You guys are developing into the guides that people come to us for tattoos. <laughs>